Jonathan Kegis joining us now tracking the forecast. Yeah, and a look onto the tropics. Of course, we do have tropical storm Fiona, unfortunately showing signs of strengthening this morning as it has entered the Caribbean and on its way towards the Virgin Islands and into Puerto Rico over the next 24 to 36 hours. You see it here. This is uh, kind of cool here. The hurricane hunters. We have two aircraft now in there. The NOAA plane left earlier. That is the one that is currently right here. The U.S. Air Force is now on the outer periphery and they're going to sample. So, you know, again, it's a big deal when there are two planes in there simultaneously trying to get the best data for forecasting. One of the ways you can tell how this is starting to intensify a little bit, the jagged white there, that's some of the outflow on the northern eastern side and the thunderstorm starting to expand west, indicating that some of that shear that has been plaguing the system is starting to let up a little bit. So again, all bad signs that this is going to try to make a run at hurricane intensity as it kind of moves off to the south and west and kind of splits a difference in between the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. So watching that again closely for our friends in the Caribbean, again, latest on Fiona, a 60 mile per hour tropical storm. We are expecting it to intensify into a category one, at least a current forecast by the time it gets to the eastern side of the Dominican Republic. But again, it could make that run to hurricane status earlier as it kind of pivots around Puerto Rico. So watching that closely, regardless, heavy rain is going to be one of the main threats here as some places, especially in the higher terrain of Puerto Rico, could pick up over a foot of rain as Fiona moves on through. Better news again for the lower 48. Again, that trend continues to look like this is likely going to miss the United States and head back out to sea after impacting the Dominican Republic again and then eventually the Turks and Caicos. So again, continues to look like this is going to be a non-issue for Florida and for the lower 48. Watching it very, very closely though for Puerto Rico and the Caribbean. There are the latest forecast models again grouping together as they push it out towards Bermuda. So then Bermuda as we get towards the middle and latter stages of this upcoming work week going to have to watch that closely, but you clearly see the modeling consensus as we continue to get better data in from the Hurricane Hunter aircraft. The computer forecast then starts to perform better. But in terms of the forecast rain amount, you see some places in the U.S. Virgin Islands, British Virgin Islands picking up closer to a foot of rain, if not even more than that. Same deal in Puerto Rico. So again, watching that closely elsewhere in the tropics. We are looking pretty good. Just two areas highlighted by the Hurricane Center with a low shot. They will have no threat to impact land. A couple of other tropical waves moving off of Africa. Not yet highlighted. There's still a lot of dry air out there, so they will have to do some battle with that dry air if they even want to try to intensify. So again, Fiona, the only name in the game, but this one unfortunately going to impact land a lot of the Caribbean under the gun from at least tropical storm conditions. So watching that closely again for Puerto Rico. There are the clouds as we are seeing first light as the sun works its way above the horizon. That's a live look with our launch credit union camera at Port Canaveral this morning. Temperatures back to the upper 70s with clear skies at least at the reporting site. The breeze is light out of the east at about 5 to 10 miles an hour. It's that easterly breeze, though, that's helping our showers get going along our coast. We're at 73 in Palm Coast. Good morning in Ocala. We are also at 73, 74 in the villages. We're back to the mid to upper 80s today with the rain chances increasing gradually through your morning. Lunchtime, 30% shot for storms. And then as we get into the early and middle part of your afternoon, about a 60% shot for showers and thunderstorms to continue. We'll keep the rainy weather with us through the weekend as well. For that, here's a look at your pinpoint accurate seven day forecast. Temperature is going to get back to around 90 degrees. If we do not hit 90 at the Orlando International Airport today, it'll be the first time we haven't hit 90 since way back on August 9th. So it has been a while. First day of fall is coming our way later on this work week. Again, it's not going to feel like fall for quite some time. Can't believe fall is already here. It's almost, crazy. You know? We're rolling through this year. Time flies. Thank Absolutely. you, Jonathan, tracking the tropics this morning.